recorded live. Good evening. This is Robson Q of CRA, CRZY News interviewing the new candidate for Senator Anderson Quint Jr. Mr. Quint, why did you decide to run? Well, as you well know, my father, uh, the late Senator Anderson Quint, uh, was assassinated uh, just a couple of months back, and he spent a long career as a senator from here, Mur- Murgatroyd City. He represented Flat Town. He represented Sawmill City. As you know, he brought the paper doll factory originally to this town with all of its thousands of jobs. And for for many, many, many different reasons, it's time that I stepped up to the plate, tried to fill my dad's shoes, tried to do what he did, and tried to become a senator to represent this area. For one thing, there's a serial killer running loose that's claimed 21 victims now, and the mayor, God bless him, is as nice as a man as Peransky may be. Mayor Peransky is inept. He's not up to this. And this so-called uh, investigator in charge of the serial killer investigation, Lieutenant Skitter, I know him. He's way over his head. He is not qualified, and, and, and they've never dealt with a serial killer before. We need to get some real experts in here. We need to get outside help to catch this killer. This has been going on for four years. And the body count just keeps going. And one of the first things I'll do if I'm elected senator is is solve the Murgatroyd serial killer problem. I will see to it that the perpetrator uh, is apprehended. Is it true, sir, that Vincini Cosmetics is a major campaign contributor to your campaign? And is Fudiki Hiromoto, the Japanese business magnate, also a campaign contributor? Well, it's much, much, much too early at this point. I'm not ready to discuss campaign contributors at this point. All of that will be revealed, you know, when the time comes, when it's necessary, when we're closer to the election. But let me just say this about the lovely and wonderful Judy Vincini, who, as you know, had a long-term relationship with my father, the late Senator Quint. She is the the CEO of the Vincini Corporation. She's a wonderful lady. Uh, Let me just say that on a personal level, I regard Judy Vincini as a close personal friend. And, of course, as I said, I'm not going to name any contributors at this early stage, but but all contributions are welcome to my uh, election, and I appreciate all campaign contributions. Now, as to Fujiki Hiramoto, he is the, uh, as you know, the Japanese business magnate who originally brought uh, the paper doll factory uh, to Murgatroyd to begin with, and now that uh, it is burned down, he's in the process of trying to rebuild it and restore all of those jobs that were lost when Apronhead destroyed the paper doll factory to bring all those jobs back to Murgatroyd. So I do consider Fuduki Hiramoto a great asset to Murgatroyd City, to Flat Town, to Sawmill City, to this entire area. And, and once again, at this stage, I'm not ready to discuss campaign contributions. What is your position on flashing the paper doll? I'm glad you brought that up. Well, first of all, she has rights. For one thing, she may not be completely human, and she may be artificially created, but she does possess human DNA. Therefore, she has human rights, and and I believe those human human rights are guaranteed by the Constitution. On this issue, I completely disagree with Imogene Slikowski, and it's not the only issue with which Imogene and I are in disagreement. And, of course, her father, Hubert Slikowski of the uh, Divine Humanity Cathedral. They have both called flashy an abomination. And as you know, both uh, Mayor Peransky and Lieutenant Skitters are wasting their time trying to find flashy the paper doll when they need to be concentrating on apprehending the serial killer. So if I'm elected senator, I will... Uh, support uh, the rights of uh, Flashy the Paper Doll, her human rights. And you'll note already that Flashy has popular support. The skateboarders in Dead Center Park have been picketing, they've been rallying, advocating for her human rights. And a number of the, the general public, the general population supports Flashy. They support her. They do not agree with Mayor Peransky, Lieutenant Skitters, or Imogene Sikowski and her father Hubert. So I support Flashy, and she has popular support. Well, we hope you have popular support, too, in the upcoming election. And thank you, Anderson Quint, for this interview. Thank you very much, Ronson Kilroy. It's been a pleasure.